Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. So I've got something totally different as you guys can see from the thumbnail. We've got a blonde wig from Mega Look Hair, you guys. This is their 13 by four blonde wig with brown highlights as you can see in Body Wave. And y'all, she is something serious. Don't need to do much with this unit except for lay it down a bit, pop on and go. Standard cap, all that great stuff. Don't have to worry about bleaching the knots, but I did go ahead and wash your girl. And this is how she's looking after she has been air drying for just a bit. So now I'm just going in with my blow dryer and using my little round brush. I'm not the best at using my round brush, you guys. And I'm going to get this unit nice and smooth. I believe this is 26 inches, y'all, and the density on here is 180% density. The hairline has already come pre-plugged. Like I said before, you don't need to do anything with that. Um, and I am wearing the average cap size. And I did spend not too long with blow drying, but a good amount of time because I really wanted to get this as smooth and as straight as possible. Because I'm gonna use my flat iron, I didn't wanna use a lot of heat on this wig. So I'm taking big sections like this, you guys. I'm using my little Remington, I believe, flat iron. I got it off of Amazon. It's the best thing ever. It gets so hot, it's so good, and it's wide. So I'm taking wide sections and just um, doing the chase method with this and it's getting the hair so smooth. Let me talk about this hair really fast, you guys. The hair is a really great combination of like a pinky straight and a silky texture. I really don't know how to explain it, but I absolutely loved it. You're definitely not getting that like super silky texture with this unit. And I really, really liked it. So um, I'm just gonna go in, and just cut a few little inches around the perimeter. I wanted to keep this wig as long as possible. So because I like to be honest with you guys, I was quite nervous about wearing this unit because I've worn blonde wigs plenty of times before um, and I love them, but never one without like a dark root to, you know, to start off with. And the roots on this are like a light brown. So you're not really getting that, um, like that gradient kind of look, or you guys get what I'm trying to say. You're not getting that dark root and then the blonde, which is a little bit more like, I guess, softer or it trans transitions here you're just getting like a lot of blonde right out like the gate and so I was a little nervous but y'all I have been wanting to try a unit like this for so long and I was like just stopping myself from doing it and I was like you know what this is why I've been doing what I've been doing for so long because I love wigs I love changing my hair up I love the fact that I can become anybody I want to in a you know just popping something on or just switching my hair up um, this is why I made my channel in the first place was just to, you know, if I want to be this girl today, I'm going to be this girl. If I want to be that girl tomorrow, I'm going to switch it up and do so. So anyways, you guys, this was definitely a trust the process type of look. And as I started to do it, like, you know, style my hair, like I'm doing some edges right here. I started to love it more and more. So yeah, so as you guys just saw, I used my even lace um, spray to, uh, you know, to melt my lace down. Very simple, very easy to the point. Y'all doing these baby hairs was so different for me. Y'all know I'ma lay my edges. I don't care what anybody says, I'ma lay my edges. And honestly, I don't know if it was really necessary with this wig. Like I'm still gonna do it anyways because I'm just used to the motions and just used to doing it. But it was kind of like you could really, you couldn't really tell they were laid in the first place. So I encourage you, if you're gonna lay your edges, don't spend that much time on them. Do a little bit here and there and then go about your business. Um, with my skin tone in this particular uh, color of wig, 
it just wasn't that prominent and so I just kind of laid them just a bit just to give me a little bit of you know personality and because I like to and then I moved on with my life I was not doing the most with my hairline so this is definitely one of those options where you don't have to lay your edges if you don't want to or if you just want to try something different I think it would blend really well without um, doing anything to your hairline. So I went on ahead and just pulled out my wand curler, you guys, and I'm just doing some big curls, um, just trying to get a little bit of body, a little curl, like a little wave, basically. I also wanted to see how this unit um, took heat and from flat ironing it, it took heat very well in the beginning and curling it, you guys, it took the curl well also and it held throughout the day like i'm gonna comb the curls out because i didn't want um i just wanted like a slight wave but it took heat very well you guys and i don't know if it was just like the texture of it or using the hairspray because i am using um a little hairspray with the curls but most of the time whenever I'm doing um, blonde or lighter color hair, it just doesn't hold um, heat really well and the curls end up falling, but this one did pretty good. So anyways, you guys, after I've got the curls all in, I'm just gonna hit the top part with a little bit of my wax stick, not too much because I did not want this hair stiff at all. And then I'm gonna just use my flat iron, and not flat iron, my hot comb, hello. And that's basically it for styling this unit, you guys. I love the switch up. I encourage you to try something different for yourself, if for your, for your man, for whoever. I encourage you to just have fun with your hair, try new looks. Y'all, my grandma's about to be 80 and she just called me asking for a wig with some baby hair, okay? And I, she don't wear wigs at all, but you know what? If she 80 and she can switch it up, I sure can and so can you. So anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link everything down below, anything that I use today. Um, let me know if you have any questions, comments, all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. If somebody's heaven, tell me who